Hey, what's up? Welcome back to uh, this new video. This one is paper 32 of May, June 2022 for A level math, obviously. Uh, now, with that being said, let's move on to the questions we have for you today. Question number one now, here we have to solve the equation, uh, giving your answer to three decimal place. Now, solving means finding the unknown, finding the value of x. Um, so let, let's solve this one by one. So here we have ln, here we have ln, we can send this to one side, you have ln exponential to x plus 3 minus ln of 3 is equal to 2x. Now because these are the same, the ln is the same as here, we can combine them together, you will have this. Now we can make exponential 2x plus 3 divided by 3 is equal to 2x. Now from here we should know uh, this property, for example, when you have ln of x equal to a. To find x, which is the inside value, that will be exponential of a. Similarly, to find the inside value, that will become what? That will be simply send the base over here, become exponential of 2x. Now we can uh, simplify, cross multiply and see what happens. So you will have the value of exponential 2x plus 3 is equal to 3 exponential 2x. Now simplify. We can uh, send this one over here. You will have 3 here. That will become 2 exponential 2x. Exponential 2x is the value of 3 over 2, which is 1.5. Now 2x have to be ln of 1.5. So finally, x have to be half of this one. So let's solve. Obviously, this is one way of doing this question. There's many ways of doing this. So take your time and solve this to find the value of x, 0 0.203, correct to three decimal place. And this is your question number one. Now let's move on to question number two. So here we have to solve the equation for the value of theta between 0 and 360 for this equation. Now you can see clearly here we have 2 theta, and here we have theta, so we have to break this one down. How? We should know cos 2 theta is what? It is 2 cos square theta minus 1. Now 3 times this will become 6 cos square theta minus 3. Send this over here, become minus 3 cos theta minus 2. Right. Now we can simplify, so you have 6 cos square theta minus 3. Minus 3, minus 2 become minus 5 is 0. Now this one is a simple quadratic equation. As you can see, we can factorize if you want to. Let's see. That will be uh, 3 cos theta and 2 cos theta. To have the value of 3, we can try and see if that's possible or not. So from what I can see, um, it seems to be not possible. So we have to use our formula in this case. Let's try and see. B squared, which is 9, minus 4 times A times C. Root of this one, nope, it's not factorizable, so we have to use the formula to simplify this. So, cos of theta is going to be minus B, which is the value of 3, plus minus root of 129, as we have just seen, that will be divided by 2A, which is 12. Let's double check. B squared minus 4 times A times C. Yeah, cool. Now you will have two values for theta, obviously. So first one will be positive and the other one will be negative. So cos of theta, first value will be 3 plus root of 129 plus divided by 12, sorry. That should be 1.196. Or it could be 3 minus root of 129 divided by 12. That should be minus 0 0.696. Obviously, we should know cos can only be between the be between the value of one and minus one, so this will be too much, will not be good. Or you can check, for example, cos inverse of one point one nine six, it will not be good. Degrees here, and finally, we solve for this value. So for cos of theta is equal to minus zero point six nine six. Now the thing is, we should know for cos when it is negative, it will be in this quadrant, and in this quadrant. This will be the value of 180 minus x, and this will be 180 plus x. 
Now again, x is not the value of theta, so whenever we have a negative value here, we tend to go through a pseudo angle, which is an angle I use, you can call this, you can call this alpha, beta, whatever you want to choose, but we don't find theta directly first. First we have to find x. x will be cos inverse of the positive value of this one. So whenever you have negative, you go through this step. x will be cos inverse of that, 0 0.696, that should be the value of 45, Nine. Now in the end, finally, once you have x, we use the quadrant to find theta. Theta will be 180 plus x. That should be 225.9 or 180 minus x. That will be 134.1. So here we go. Finally, we have two values of theta. The first one is 134.1 and 225.9. And this is your question number two, solving this equation. Now let's move on to question number three. So here we have p of x is defined by this one. Okay. Now when p of x is, it is divisible by this one, which means it is a factor of p of x. Now for what value of x, we take the same thing, equate to zero, x will be half. So it means that when p takes in the value of half, the remainder will be zero. That's what it means. Now we can use this to form an equation. Replace half in here, you will have one over eight a plus one over four plus half b plus three and the remainder has to be zero. Now I don't like to work fractions. I let me just remove these fractions. I can times everyone by by eight, you will have a plus two plus four b plus 24, that has to be zero. So rearrange A will be plus 4B has to be minus 26, number one. Then number two, we have what? And when P of X is divided by this one, the remainder is five. So for what value of X? X will be minus two. So therefore I can say, well, when P takes in the value of minus two, the remainder will be five. Now for an equation, that will be minus eight A plus four, minus two B, plus three, that should be five. Simplify, you have minus eight A, minus two B, that will be minus two. Now we can divide by minus two everywhere, that will become four A, plus B, equal to one. My equation number two. Now we can make uh, B become subject, so B will be one minus four A. Replace right here, you will have what? a plus 4 times b, that will be 4, minus 16a, that will be minus 26. So a minus 16 should be minus 15a, and that should be the value of minus 26, and that should be minus 4. So minus 15 will be the value of minus 30, so a will be the value of 2. So finally, b will be what? 1 minus 4 times 2, and that should be minus 7. So A is this, B is this, and this is your question number three. The description below and click on this link to access the Patreon page for the full video. With that being said, good luck and thank you for watching.